What is up guys? My name is Nick and welcome back to another Modern Warfare Warzone video. Today we're going to be talking about Season 6. A season that not many people actually thought was going to come. Everyone thought it was going to end at Season 5. And then Cold War was going to come out and it was going to start a whole new thing. But it's here guys and this is probably actually the last season we're ever going to get in Modern Warfare. And if you guys ever played Fortnite you'll understand what I'm talking about here. Whereas in Fortnite they had a bunch of seasons and then it ended. It just completely ended and they came out with Chapter 2. So I'm guessing once Cold War comes out this season is going to continue on for a little bit because Warzone probably won't be ready when Cold War is out, their version of it at least. And then once a couple of months later, they're going to come out with theirs and it's going to be chapter two. And then that's where it's going to start a whole bunch of new things. But let's talk about everything that we're getting in season six. First thing I want to talk about is the actual metro station. We're getting metro stations throughout the map, train stations, whatever you want to call it, underground, where you guys could travel the actual map and stuff. And I'll show you that in a moment. But before we get there, I also want to talk about some of the weapons that we will be getting in the game. So, so, one of them that has been leaked was the R700 sniper, the Romeo 700. This sniper is very good in the game, it looks like it's going to be cool, it looks fun, and I feel like, yeah, we do actually need a little more snipers, but all these weapons that I'm about to list, guys, just know we might only get one or two of them, that seems to be the pattern in this game, but they all have been data mined, they all have been sh uh, shown in the game, people have actually played with them and stuff like that, but they might not actually be in 100%. But my guess up until now is that they're probably going to be in the game, all three of them. Considering it's the last season we're getting, they might all three just throw it all into the game and let us have fun. The next weapon is the AA-12 shotgun, the AA-12 shotgun. We've seen this in previous games, we've seen this in different games that are not Call of Duty. It's good, it's a little powerful, and since shotgun spamming is becoming a thing in Warzone right now, I have a huge feeling this is going to be one of the shotguns people are using like crazy. And finally, we're getting a new assault rifle that has very low recoil and and that's the Val, the V-A-L. And this is a gun that you can also see in Battlefield 4, I believe, and stuff like that. Now, because it has such low recoil, my guess is that it's going to be replacing the actual Grau and stuff like that. Like, the Grau is still going to be in the game, but people are going to flock to using the Val. And it looks kind of similar to an AK-74 UAK-47 style. I'm not sure what it's going to look like when it actually has its tech strong. Because the version that I saw, it's just all white. You can't really see much. But yeah, it's, it's going to be a good gun. And those are the three weapons. So a sniper, a shotgun, and... And an assault rifle. That's pretty cool. I kind of want a new SMG, but the SMGs they've been bringing out haven't been that good. But here, guys, you can check it out on screen. This is the train station, all the train stations that we're getting. And there's one thing that really strikes me on this image right here. Like, at first, you're looking at it, you see all the train stations. There's Verdansk International Airport. There's the Torsk block. There's Verdansk train station. Obviously, that, that's going to be, like, something big. It's the train station. Then there's the uh, Baraket Shopping District, the Verdansk train station, like I mentioned the Torsic block Verdansk center which the center is going to be connecting probably like a whole bunch of things it's right beside stadium you guys could see it right there and then there's the Lozov pass now these all connect to each other but I'm guessing you're gonna have to get off the train and hop on to another one but it doesn't do that like you see a bunch of different colors but that's not the case the, the train does continue you could stay on it you don't have to get off but the, this map is a little confusing with all the colors and stuff you don't have to get off if you get on at Verdansk International Airport you could go all the way around and end at Verdansk International Airport again if you want but this is what really struck me as like very interesting if you guys go down to the right corner here where it says please be advised it's actually kind of cool like it says in the event of an environmental hazard occurring at destination train will continue operation to the next nearest safe station on the line so they in, they actually mentioned environmental hazards and if you know Call of Duty they don't mention stuff like that for no reason. So I'm guessing something is going to be happening. There's going to be some map changes. There could be like some weird thing going on in the map. Maybe someone could like bomb up a train station and stuff like that. Blow it up and whatnot. The train will continue to the next one. And it won't stop to pick or let anybody off. So let's say something bad is happening at the airport. The train is just going to go right through the airport. And bring you to the Torsk block or Lozov Pass. It's not going to stop at the airport whatsoever. So you're stuck on that train all the way until the next stop. Which could be a bad thing. Because let's say there are a bunch of enemies on the train with you and you're trying to like fight them off and stuff you might want to get off at the airport so you can run away and then kill them and stuff but now you can't now you're stuck you got to fight them you're not getting off this train but i hope it's not like the actual train that we see above ground where you can just jump off 
and not get hurt whatsoever. I hope it kind of hurts you, because, dude, jumping off a train in real life is not something I see as possible. But, yeah, this season is coming out, guys, at least for me, in the Eastern Time at 2 o'clock in the morning tomorrow morning, which is tonight, technically, and stuff like that. For those of you guys who are around LA, around uh, California, I'm not sure what the time zone is there. It should be coming out at 11 p.m., which is kind of cool, maybe 12 p.m. I think it's 11 p.m. And then for you guys in Europe, you guys can sleep tonight. Don't worry. Wake up tomorrow, 7 a.m., and you should have the update, maybe 8 a.m., depending where you are in Europe, you guys should be having the update and stuff like that. That's all I know for the times. I'm, I'm not like a clock. I can't tell you guys much. But yeah, it's going to be cool. So uh, this right here, is, uh, I just want to read something. It says, specifically, a subway train will not move to a station that is under the effects of the circle collapse. So that could be an environmental hazard right there. This avoids a situation of a squad hopping aboard a subway that leads to an un... Oh, I was going to say ultimately. <laughs> that leads to an untimely death. Unless of course it's in the hands of another squad waiting at the next station so i don't really know what that means maybe someone could control the train and call it over to a station that's in the storm i'm not sure but that's pretty cool and then it goes speaking of fighting there is no room for rough housing on board the metro in fact the subway will not move at all if there is any conflict on board or between the train and the platform so keep moving to the platform stairwells and outside the station so if you're standing anywhere on the platform the train will not move if you're if you're fighting in the actual train it won't move so that kind of takes away what i just said about two minutes ago which is kind of cool i i don't see how that's gonna like work i'm not gonna get on a train and just let the enemy sit on the train with me dude if i see someone on there i don't care if the train's moving or not you're dead i'm killing you i don't care i don't care if there's conflict the train's not moving i mean i'm not one of those people in real life who stops the train and holds the doors open i hate those people but yeah i mean dude uh, I, if i see someone in war zone on a train you're dead. That's it, guys, man. That is the update. It looks pretty cool. I, I can't tell you if there's new maps coming out and stuff like that. I haven't seen anything on that. But with these updates, what I could say is we normally get one or two guns. Warzone barely changes, but we always get something new in there. New weapons, new meta weapons, anything like that. And then we also get one or two maps on multiplayer. Maybe a ground war map. I'm not sure. Hopefully, we do get a ground war map because I kind of want to play it again. It's been a long time since I played that. The maps, I just I don't like them. I just feel they're very unbalanced balance and stuff but yeah whatever man i can't wait this is the final season season six is the final season unless treyarch cannot finish what they have to finish then we might get a season seven but it's going to be following on cold war which i don't think they'll do because cold war is going to have its own season one and it's going to go all the way to maybe season six seven eight who knows they're going to have their own season so this is probably it this is it it's going to be a whole new chapter but not right away i want you guys to know that it's probably not going to happen right when cold war comes out we're going to wait a bit and then like like Warzone, it didn't come out until probably like February, March and stuff. I'm guessing Cold War isn't going to have their version of Warzone ready until near or around or even after Christmas. So just uh, keep that in mind, guys. Now, I'm going to keep this video short. My throat hurts a lot. I'm super sick. I don't know how I got sick, but I mean, I hope it's a cold. Uh, it probably is. But yeah, anyways, thank you guys for watching this video. My name is Nick. Subscribe to the channel if you're new around here with those notifications turned on. And I will catch you in the next one. Peace.